placing money in girls. Jamie didn't notice anything. But one day his life changed completely. After one event, he no longer likes the mask of a carefree guy. Now all his goals are reduced to one, really important. This is Movie Recap Zone, and today you will learn what hidden desires live in every man. Enjoy the video. Jamie Randall works as a salesman at an appliance store. All customers are satisfied with him. The guy can sell absolutely everything. During the working day, Randall flirts with his colleague Christy. Her boyfriend Jerry does not like their communication. During a break, Jamie and Christy have fun in the warehouse. A cell phone falls out of the girl's purse and dials her boyfriend's number. Jerry catches the couple hot on their intimate acquaintance and makes a scene. A slightly bruised Jamie hurries out of that warehouse. And in the store, he sees a beautiful girl, Amber, and gives her his card. The hero wants to meet the next hottie after work, but Jerry kicks him out of the store. Later, Jamie has dinner with his family. Relatives discuss work issues and profits. The guy gets bored. Conversations continue over dinner. The parents congratulate Josh, Jamie's brother, on a great job. His girlfriend asks what Jamie does. His mother answers for him. She is pleased that her son is good with technology. Josh reveals his brother's secret and laughs about getting fired. The hero reassures that he is still looking for himself. Josh tries to convince his brother to go into pharmaceuticals, as there is more profit in that field. The family begins to actively discuss the topic of sales in medicine. After dinner, Jamie and his brother sit on the porch of the house. The hero receives a call from another beauty, and his brother says that if they paid for active leisure with beauties, the guy would quickly get rich. On the recommendation of his brother, Jamie goes to the training in a pharmaceutical company. From the stage, a woman talks about how profitable it is to be a seller of medicines. The company opens courses to train Pfizer consultants. The hero tries his best to become the best in the group. He actively trains his skills in sales, even at home. Jamie's ambitiousness impresses the curator, and the woman gets to know him better. After training, Randall goes to Ohio. The local manager, Bruce Jackson, takes the hero on his first assignment. The main task of the consultant, according to the man, is to make money. It's pouring heavy rain. Jamie walks near the local hospital and tries to talk to the doctors, but he is not paid attention to. The men decide to have coffee in the lobby. The hero notices a blonde girl and tries to get acquainted with her. Jamie tells Bruce his strategy for getting acquainted with beauties. Bruce shares his sales secrets with his colleague. In the waiting room, the men watch Trey Hannigan walk freely to the clinic's doctor's office while they wait their turn. A guy heads to another hospital and talks to the receptionist. The woman succumbs to the guy's charm and allows him to display samples of medication in a prominent place. While Jamie is getting his groceries, a doctor walks by the office. The man is not happy about the appearance of the Pfizer consultant. Jamie hides the competitor's medications in his suitcase moments before Cindy asks the guy to leave. Outside, a homeless man watches a well-dressed guy toss packs of some of the competitor's medications into a trash can. The next day, the hero shows up at the clinic with flowers for the receptionist and her assistant. The guy gets to know Cindy better. Jamie develops his own strategy for introducing his company's drugs into the clinic's lockers. He maximizes his charismatic charm on the secretaries, much to their delight. The homeless man keeps sitting by those trash cans to pick up the drugs the Pfizer consultant is getting rid of. In the clinic elevator, Jamie meets the blonde again. Lisa explains to him that the guy doesn't have enough status to interest her. Bruce has lunch with the hero. He is not satisfied with the performance of the newcomer. The man advises him to find an approach to Stan Knight, a friend of Trey. Jamie meets the doctor at the clinic and offers him money for the sake of the hero to be able to look at the needs of doctors from the inside. Stan hesitates not long and the next day the hero walks with him around the clinic as an assistant. Maggie is waiting for the doctor in the waiting room. The girl tells about the fact that her medication was stolen. When Stan writes her a new prescription, Jamie recommends a drug from his company. The doctor continues to communicate with the patient. She is diagnosed with early Parkinson's. The girl is also concerned about a strange pimple on her chest, which she shows to the doctor. Jamie also looks at her problem with interest. In the parking lot, the hero is laying out medication in the trunk of his car. Maggie approaches from behind to teach the insolent stranger a lesson. The girl realizes he's a pharmaceutical agent and is outraged that the hero was looking at her during the appointment. Jamie talks some nonsense and offers her a coffee. But Maggie takes a picture of the guy and leaves. A while later, the hero is chatting on the phone about clubbing with Cindy. The girl is embarrassed. Randall wants to get Maggie's number through an acquaintance. 
Their communication is interrupted by the guy's brother. His wife kicks him out of the house for watching peculiar movies. When Josh calms down, Jamie calls Maggie to ask her out. In the evening, the couple meets at the cafe where the girl works. Maggie proposes to Jamie to have a fling, as she likes him. At home at Maggie's place, they get active and get to know each other better. The girl likes spending time with Jamie, so they do sports in the most unexpected places. Once the guys did it in one of the alleys and continued in a cafe. One night, Maggie decides to surprise her buddy. Her spectacular appearance late at night is also appreciated by the guy's brother. In between active exertion, Jamie tells the girl about his past. In the morning, Trey Hannigan meets the hero at the garbage cans. The man explains to him that it is not worth throwing out drug samples and getting close to Maggie. As the competitor leaves, a homeless man approaches Jamie and asks for drug samples. At the clinic, the women are hostile to the hero. Cindy finds out about the guy's affair. The guy takes Maggie with him to visit. The girl worries that they may start a serious relationship and tries to switch the guy to another activity. Jamie asks her about Trey and goes to get herself together and turn on the charisma in the restroom. Later, Maggie wants to make the guy feel good but instead massages her own to relax. She decides that talking about the ex-boyfriend has lowered Jamie's potential. The couple had a fun evening. The girl told her friend about the Raprocamant pill that his company is developing and Jamie showed Maggie new exercises and stayed the night. In the morning, the hero is going to work. The friend tries to open him a biscuit, but her symptoms of illness are aggravated. The girl asks not to call her anymore. In the evening, Bruce gives Jamie and his brother a ride. While the man reprimands the newcomer because of the small number of orders, Josh clarifies the relationship with his wife. Jamie asks a co-worker about the company's new pill. Bruce wonders what the new guy knows and asks why he should entrust the drug to him. At the bar, the men meet Trey and Dr. Knight. Jamie goes to say hello to them, but the conversation turns to Maggie and his rival has an outburst of aggression. Trey goes home and Jamie offers to introduce Stan to the hotties at the bar. In the evening, the hero misses his friend and wants to see her, but Maggie is against it. Josh pokes fun at his brother. Maggie organizes a trip to Canada for the elderly. Jamie hopes to meet her and talk to her. He sentries her outside her house all night and meets her off the bus early in the morning. Maggie is touched by the guy's persistence. At the girl's house, he grills her like it's the first time. Bruce brings a batch of new pills that Jamie asked for. The hero actively begins to promote them. The pill becomes popular and Jamie is welcome in every clinic in the city. Later, a girl wants to congratulate Jamie on his success. The couple decides to use a video camera to capture the event. After their games, the guys realize that their relationship is becoming more serious. They spend more time together and enjoy every moment spent together. One night, Jamie informs his mom about a special pill he sold. The girl accuses him of greatly exaggerating his successes. He does not mind admitting to exaggeration, but the girl asks him to tell about his positive sides. The hero finds this difficult and the girl speaks for him. He is satisfied with the way she sees him. At a bar, a guy tells his new acquaintances about the pill. A blonde from the elevator starts flirting with him. He introduces Lisa to Dr. Knight and goes home to his girlfriend. When Randall kisses Maggie, she notices the guy's strong heartbeat. The girl is scared for his health, but the hero is going to tell her his secret. His condition is caused by the fact that this is the first time he confesses his love to another person. At home, he notices his brother doing needlework. On the TV screen is a home video of Jamie and his girlfriend. The hero explains to his brother the impropriety of such an act. Maggie's well-being has deteriorated. She struggles to open a jar of medication, but they have run out. Dr. Knight invites the hero to a conference of doctors in Chicago. The guy cannot give a definite answer, but asks to replace Trey's medications with those produced by his company. Jamie learns that his girlfriend has run out of medication. Maggie could not buy them and replaces the pills with alcohol. The guy is worried about his beloved, but she has a nervous breakdown. They go to a conference together. In Chicago, Maggie meets a woman who invites her to an anti-conference of people with the same disease as the girl. While Jamie talks to medical representatives, Maggie listens to other people's stories. She invites the hero to join the event. At it, Jamie meets a man who advises him to find a healthy woman. He shares an experience from his life with a woman with Parkinson's. After the event, Maggie feels elated and confesses her love to the guy. Jamie researches information about modern treatments for Maggie's disease. He asks Dr. Nate to recommend effective ways and tries to prolong a happy life with his beloved. 
Maggie sees that Jamie is too focused on her illness and decides to end the relationship with him. In the evening, Jamie puts his things in the car and tries once again to convince Maggie to keep the relationship. But the girl is determined. They are both upset about the way things turned out. Jamie tries to call his sweetheart. Stan calls Randall to have the hero bring the pills to Lisa's pajama party. Dr. Jamie wasn't in the mood to party with anyone, but the hero's brother took charge of the situation. At the party, the guy listens to the doctor's confession. Lisa interrupts the communication of men and takes the hero with her. The girl introduces him to her girlfriend. Jamie realized that it's going to trialism, but Lisa puts some intimacy pills in the guy's mouth. In the next room, Josh is being a nerd, and his new girlfriend changes the vector of their conversation on her own. After getting to know that I and Lisa, Jamie wakes up with strange feelings downstairs. To get to the hospital faster, he interrupts Josh's fun with his new girlfriend. On the way, his younger brother expresses his gratitude for his help after breaking up with his wife. Jamie shows the nurse his problem at the clinic. Although the hero learns of his promotion, he is not happy about it. The next day, he celebrates the promotion with Bruce and meets a new friend at Maggie's cafe. The girl learns that Randall is leaving. Jamie accidentally turns on their video of Maggie while he's packing his things. He drops everything to meet the girl. Her co-worker informs the guy that the girl is traveling to Canada again with a group of seniors. Having caught up with the bus, the guy asks Maggie to talk to him. Jamie confesses his love for the girl and wants them to always be together. At the end of the movie, Jamie stays with Maggie. He goes to medical school and is happy that he made the right decision. This is the 2010 movie Love and Other Drugs. Rate this retelling in the comments. Do you think the hero made the right decision? Would you be able to take care of a loved one for the rest of his or her life if necessary?